Manau. Manau. Say hello to the people. Hello to the people. I'm a kitten. I'm a kitten and my name is Manau. Oh, yep. No, no. Not time for dancing, is it? Now, so I was going to um, eep, um, go through a couple of things I'm doing. So, um, about this uh, the art project I mentioned because I, uh, where'd it go? Where'd they go? Ah, right there. Right in front of where I was just at. Um, so I got, uh, I, I got some, uh, some bits for that art project I mentioned in another video about, uh, my friend who died earlier, um, this, well, this year now. Uh, she died earlier in January, and you might recognize her, and, um, this is, uh, Cinnamon Hadley, um, um, I don't, I don't know how, I, I really did value her friendship a lot. She was, she was one of the few people who talked to me quite regularly when I was recovering from my surgery, um, back in May, and, um, um, if the name sounds vaguely familiar, but you're not sure from where, she, uh, was the visual inspiration for the, uh, the character of Death in, uh, Neil Gaiman's, uh, Sandman series. So, um, that is not scissors, that is cat nail clippers, and I had scissors. I never know where anything is. I think I know where it is, and then it turns out I don't know anything. Uh, so I found my scissors, and, uh, I've got, um, these little, um, wood cutouts that I showed you, and I, uh, uh, this is the picture I decided I was going to use, and, um, I also, um, printed out these two, trying to figure out, like, I was still a little on the fence over which one I wanted to use. And, um, uh, I, um, and got printed out at Walgreens, um, but I decided this was going to go best with, uh, I mean, it was the original idea I had for, uh, in this little vision I had for this when I first got the news, and, uh, so it turns out I'm just going to go with my in my first instinct because it was probably right. And I'm gonna be a little less chatty and just more narrative right now because I gotta be careful with the scissors that I don't cut too much, or else I'll have to go back to Walgreens and print it out again, and that's like 65 cents. I can do a lot with 65 cents. Like, 65 cents is a little over a third of what it costs for me to do a load of laundry, assuming I put it on the line. So... That is... that is fairly valuable, since I have cats, so all of my clothes end up with cat hair on them, and... It's good to make less cat hair when necess when possible. So, um, that's where I'm going to cut for now, just to have it out, and I'm going to sandwich it in nicely between the other two pictures, just for now. Now, uh, the first step I did was I cut from this beautiful star paper 
into here, and I have not yet glued it down, because, um, uh, I was, uh, mentioning a thing with the Kilted Goth in one of his videos about moving my light all around. I know where the brush is that I want to use. And it's in here, but it's not on top. Oh, I'm such an organized person. No, no. That's cat treats. These are all actually really good brushes. Okay, I'll use this one. <laughs> I'll use this one and then go to the kitchen and get another, get one of the other ones that I prefer to use for painting on my wall, which I have been doing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he was um, trying to uh, remember the um, American brand of, uh, this, uh, um, glue, this craft glue that he uses. Actually, I gotta go get the smaller brush from the other room. So, um, so yeah, he was, a uh, Kilted Goth was, um, meant, um, uh, and, uh, he's trying to remember the American brand, uh, that, uh, this brand of, uh, that this kind of, uh, craft glue that he uses in the UK is what the brand name is, and it is Mod Podge. Um, Podge as in decoupage, which is the art of crafting by, um, basically wallpapering things that are not walls. So, I'm going to spread a nice even layer here to prevent um, a little thin and even to prevent um, bubbles and curls and because it's going to be the layer that gets um, the uh, the paper laid down depending and I'm going to put things on top of the uh, on top of the star paper so depending on where it is I spread it. doesn't matter if there's cat hair on it because, well, I mean, there's going to be cat hair on it anyway. That's, I've got three cats. And then I already cut this and, you know, folded it in so that it fits perfectly. And I just press it in. And you can't see. And I just press it in. And the pressing and the pressing. And the pressing and the pressing. Ah. And the pressing. And the pressing. And there we go. Okay, so I've got this about as flat as it's going to get now. There's a couple little bubbles and curls, but more junk is going to go on top of it. So, I'm going to switch from this, which has a glossy finish, because I don't want that on this, but I will go over this, this beautiful brass key that I got for the, uh, thing. Um, and I'm going to go over instead in this antique mat on a, at least this layer. And I take off some old stuff and just put it here on my little junk pile. And I get another brush. which has crunchy bristles, apparently, and... <laughs> get there. And... Mm. 
this one, this version of it is a little bit thicker. But I do really like how it dries. Now, some people might think that you know the uh, the brush I've got for this is a bit coarse and. For some projects, yes, I would agree with that. But for this, I kind of like the uh, the coarseness. Cinnamon was, you know, it gives a it gives a nice you know textured look as well. And cinnamon was very very sweet. And one of the things that I really loved about her is. Um, we uh, uh, we shared this belief that you know there's this beauty to the little imperfections, and um, uh, we both love antique furniture uh, best because it uh, you know it, it it all has so many stories to tell. When something is that old, you know it's got some really beautiful stories within it. Um, if you just, you know, know how to listen to them. And I'm, it's probably going to be a while before I have similar conversations with somebody like that. But, uh, so, um, and now I'm going to trim a little bit more off the photograph to fit it in. And... Maybe just a little sliver more. I'm going to have a big mess to pick up off the floor. Oh, that... It's almost perfect, just a little tiny sliver there. Oh wow, yeah, that was lovely. So this is this is going to dry and it's going to look lovely. And you know, then I'm going to stick this in over here about and then this side is going to have all sorts of... Hello, cat! <laughs> and then this side is going to have all sorts of little um, decorative spit bits like the, uh, like the butterfly and the key and uh, stone, which is not the same one, but it's the, uh, it's the same um, type that I gave her when she started going through chemo, um, and we were talking about how, uh, that was, a uh, that was a good stone to have during that, uh, that period, and, um, while, uh, I stop the camera, I'm going to cut bits of this, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with bits of that. So I got a bit into the zone, and you'd see I took this lovely velvety paper, and this is the sides now, and I screwed up with placement a little bit back here, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to fix that in, um, and the last part of covering, and yep, uh, so. Now I just need to cut one last, let's take it a bit, just a little bit more, and let's 
So, let's see, I'm going to get some of my trusty dusty glue. Sorry, I'm not being so chatty right now. I'm just... I feel like if I talk too much, I might cry. And while I'm not... While I don't, you know, want, you know, necessarily think that I should, you know, shield some of the heavier emotions for a video, I don't want it to get in the way of making something really nice. If this were just any other crafty type of project that uh, I was going to do, um, I would just be going away at it right now. But this this feels a little bit a little bit, you know, much for that. And I probably should have cut this a little bit more nicely, but you know, it's those little, those little edges that help it tell its story, you know? bits and bobs and They help it tell its story. I'll get to you when I'm done with this bit. Oh crap. Okay, so I'm gonna need to go over this but with the uh with the matte finish one. But I was going to um I was going to leave um her photo um Yeah. I was kinda of thinking of leaving her photo a bit glossy just to stand out a bit, but she just stands out so beautifully as she is, doesn't she? Um, so yeah, that would help seal it around here to go over with the, uh, with the mat. And, um, and then, you know, get that there and the stone and then we move, uh, this over to about here, and I've got a couple of the, uh, and then I'm going to put one of these on the side here, and I picked up, um, some of these. I was thinking maybe the, uh, the little house there, um, underneath the key, but that looks like might it be a little busy 
But then again, it looks like a Victorian. We did talk about antiques a lot, didn't we? Okay, I'm going to I'm going to have to come back to this uh tomorrow. I'm I'm it's getting a bit much for me at the moment. Sweethearts, it's Rowan and again and this is the last of this. I kind of wanted but it just wasn't feeling right to uh both finish the uh the, uh, the, uh, the art last night. Well, I needed to finish the art last night. That was, like, you know, sometimes the artistic drive, just like, you have to do it now. Uh, but it didn't feel right to film it, just for a couple reasons, but it just, I don't know, it was a bit personal, um, when I was filming the first part, and it just didn't feel right to continue with the filming. But now that it's finished... Or at least mostly finished. I've suddenly got the urge to add a couple other butter to add a couple more butterflies, but here is the finished um, piece. Uh, if you watch me on Instagram, you've already seen this. Uh, the uh, the butterfly. I'm gonna uh, switch around the camera for a sec. So this is mostly cured to the metal. I used uh, the E6000. Um, or did I use the Dazzle Tech? I don't know. But I used a jewelry set. I mean, it's basically the same sort of thing. Um, the, uh, the craft cement. And it should be completely cured to the metal tomorrow, but it's cured it just enough that it's not going to slide around too much. I might want to get some more of the, uh, the antique, um, matte Mod Podge around here on the shiny areas. And it looks like I missed a shiny area up there. And... It seems generally cured to the carnelian there. And I used a little bit of the glue to keep these on because they didn't have the best stick em on the back. But the I added some... Uh, hold on. Is that... Oh, that's a little bright. But I added some of uh, the... Uh, um, what's it called? The, um, the antique mat Mod Podge to the butterfly just to... Uh, give it some reinforcement, and it's still pretty delicate, but like it's not cat safe. But um, this was this was harder in some ways, but a lot easier in others uh, to work with than I expected it to be. And the fact that there's only this one crack here, and the knobs at the end of the antenna sort of snapped off. The fact that that is all that happened was actually very happy, so I was going to add a couple other butterflies. So it's not completely finished, but it's it's finished to my original vision. I just, ooh, some cement trip there. Gotta go up with that. But it's finished to my original vision, but now I think I need to add a couple other butterflies. One I was going to put here, because to pull a lazy and help cover <laughs> this up. And I was going to add a third here, so that would that would be really nice to like sort of look like they're gravitating outward and there's my friend okay so it looks like this is the end of this project so i will see you again lovelies all right bats and kisses bye bye